Hey campers, George here. Um, got a little time on a Saturday morning that I thought I would make a quick video. I'm busy doing my blog on the uh, uh, novicesurvivalist.com and it's about my 10 cc's of survival from the Dave Canterbury list. And number six on that list is candlelight, which basically is illumination, flashlights, whatever, something to light up whatever you're doing. I wanted to do this video because I wanted to show the people what I use and the reason I use these I just want to make this clear is that I camp a lot and part of the camping I do is kayak camping um, a lot of you have seen my videos of me paddling around in the middle of nowhere setting up a camp and camping there the problem with that is space um, I have limited space on what I can take with me Everything I take has to be reasonably small, light, and compact. <laughs> if it's not, it don't come with. Just like 90% in the world out there, I'm on a budget. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of money to spend on this stuff, so I'm kind of frugal that way. Anyway, here we go. The first uh, item I really like, and is by far one of the most favorite things I've ever bought for the price. And that is this little gizmo. Now, I've spoken to you about it before and it's a nice little flashlight i actually have four of them um, it's called the uh, ozark trail dual mode lantern okay and it's not very big it's made of aluminum has knurled sides knurled sorry has a little clip on it lamps here button there now the one thing i do like about it is that you can pull that out and you have a, an actual lantern, not a flashlight. It's a 360 degree light source. So you can sit it on a table. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it'll sit on a table and use it as a lantern. And the best thing is small, compact, and uh, works perfectly for me. On the back, you have a little rubber button here. It only has one mode. You turn it on and off. It doesn't have a high, low, or a flash. It's just on or off. Um, the rating on this, I believe, is 50 lumens. And they say it's good for about 25 meters in front of you. Um, some of the things they say about it is it'll handle a one meter drop test. Sorry, I'm on a budget. I'm not about to try that. And I don't intend to drop my stuff. Well, at my age, I drop a lot of things. Um, it takes two AAA batteries and uh, they go in the back here. Uh, this just screws off. And you've got your AA battery, um, AAA batteries in there. Sorry. Um, it has this clip. Uh, it's a fairly strong clip. I'm pretty surprised about it. This clip here, you can see here, it doesn't. Uh, um, bend very easily it's pretty strong it's tough it doesn't come off for me it's perfect putting in my back pocket when I'm walking around like I said I have about four of them I have them in my emergency kit I have one in my kitchen kit and I have one that I carry around with me and one at home yeah just lying around that I use um, really like this item um, the main thing for me uh, you can get them at Walmart it's an Ozark Trails product, and I think I paid seven ninety five each, and it's pretty sturdy and it's well worth the money. Um, it does have a stamp on there. I don't know if you can see that. It says Ozark Trails in there. They come in different colors as well. Lengthwise, it's six inches exactly, so it's not that big anyway. Fairly light as well, even with the batteries in it. And the nice thing is. AAA batteries, they light, you can always pack a couple with you to take along. Here it is, the dual mode, uh, simply on, off, and then you have the 360 degree lamp. And it's pretty bright, it doesn't look very bright now, obviously I've got all the lights on and everything, but it does put out quite a lot of light and perfect for me. So that's what I have in my kit, and it's one option in the 10 cc's for your uh, illumination. So there you go. Ozark Trails dual mode LED lantern. 
The second light that I carry with me um, in my camping stuff is this thing here. And it's a defiant, sorry, wrong way, defiant lamp. And it's an LED lamp, has a bunch of LED lights in it. And uh, I, for the life of me, cannot remember where I got them. But it's a defiant and it's almost, I want to say, a paddle shape type light. light. And it's not as bright as I thought it was going to be, but it does give enough bright where I can use it in my hammock. I hang it in my hammock um, underneath the cover and everything, and it gives me a nice low light to see whatever I need. Um, not that great. It's made out of metal. I have them in there. I have two. I carry them as backups. They do take um, AAA batteries. So I try to keep my products as close as possible to everything using the same battery. That way you don't have to worry about getting 50 different kinds of batteries. You can just, you know, I, I tend to go with the AAA. They're smaller, they're more compact, easier to carry. So you have this little gizmo and it's from Defiant. And I want to say it's a wand. There you go. The next light that I have... Um, I think is really overlooked when you camp. Uh, if you're a, a, a camper, you do a lot of camping and everything, this is really a product you should have. Especially in the evenings or cooking around a campfire, it's really handy to have. And that is a headlamp. Um, I got this at Walmart, I think it cost me about eight bucks. And it's an, an Energizer headlamp, and it has two modes on it. The switch is on the top here, and you have that one, and that one high low that's it it doesn't have any flashing on anything on it and it has a pretty good headband adjustable headband it does allow you to on the headband here you can adjust how you want the headlamp to sit so you can pop it in and out um, fairly inexpensive and it's not going to break the bank if you get it and it works fine for me there was a ton of choices I just chose this one no particular reason, but it turned out to be a pretty good one. The big thing about a headlamp is that it offers you a hands-free option. A lot of times when you're cooking or doing a task at night where you need the light, you can put your head on, both your hands are free. That's the only problem with a pen light or anything else. You're having to hold whatever you, on, on one hand and work one-handed. This frees you up, so keep that in mind. And remember, try and keep all your batteries in the same mode. I use AAA and I try to stay with that. I'm not a big fan of the C's or the double D's and that I try to avoid them. They're heavy, big. Typically the product's going to be big, so that whole hammock camping thing. There you go. Headlamps. Another item you should be looking at. Okay, campers, uh, number four on the list uh, for my uh, illumination on the 10 C survival list. And that is another Ozark Trails product. And that's this little lantern. Um, it's a great little product. I have two of them, one in my kitchen outfit and one in my tent. And uh, it's the Ozark Trail 75 Lumen Lantern. And guess what batteries it takes? <laughs> double A. So uh, it takes three double A batteries, um, which is not really a big deal. That means I just have to carry double A and triple A. I don't have to carry anything else. So about every other product I has is using one of those two. So um, it's the Ozark Trails 75 Lumen Lantern. Um, has a little clip on it here, kind of for like a Caribbean clip. Um, it's on there. I use it to hang it in my tent above me. Um, it has a lifetime uh, bulb in it, just like any Ozark product I remember has a, uh, a lifetime bulb in it. Um, the little switch here. Is a little rubber switch you just press it it has two modes you got really 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 bright and then not so bright so um it's a nice little product you know i it'll sit on anything you can hang it and it has the one lamp and the way it's designed you have these reflectors in it it gives a pretty good spread of light the nice thing about it is with those three AAA batteries on the high mode the 75 lumens you're going to get about 28 hours of use out of it. And that's not bad. 
Um, I tend to use it in the low mode so I can get more hours on it. I don't need really, really bright stuff. Um, so that works for me. So there you go. Um, Ozark Trails, 75 lumen lamp and cost me a whopping 7.95. Can't beat that, especially on my budget. So there you go, campers. Uh, my setup for all the lights that I have in uh, at my disposal. Not all of those are in my emergency kit for the novel survivalist, but I tend to buy products that are like I'll buy extras and I spread them out amongst my my camping stuff. And I have two ways of camping kayak and car camping um, I don't really do any backpacking so uh, um, those are the two that I look at so I'm looking at size weight and cost so um, what I like about these products is a couple of things um, typically they're small uh, so size is important for me because I got to I have limited space typically when I camp I camp like I'm camping in a kayak anyway, so even if I go in my truck, I tend to keep the same amount. It just makes it simpler for me. So size, weight, cost, and does it do the you know do what I need it to do as far as its job that I want it for? So they all work for me. It gives you an idea of what to look for. Like I said, um, I'm becoming a real believer on budget. Um, I took a hard look at how much I'm spending on camping stuff and survival stuff and uh, thought to myself wow a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford a lot of the stuff that's out there so he has some options and as you can see they're fairly inexpensive typically i try to keep my products under 20 bucks <laughs> this is just me anyway thanks for watching hopefully this helped you out don't forget to like subscribe and share with your buddies and we'll see you again soon thanks for watching just saying